لآت النجوم وحك الغيوم وضو القمر مع الله عند هزيم الرعون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate Brothers, sisters What is the greatest threat facing Islam today? American aggression in the Middle East The Zionist occupation of Palestine These are merely symptoms of a greater disease The real threat is in our hearts Instead of allowing Islam to transform us some Muslims are trying to transform Islam to serve their political agenda. This is the fallacy of the self-styled jihadists who... I hope I haven't angered you, brother. Assalamu alaikum. This is the fallacy of the self-styled jihadists who murder innocent civilians. How can you expect Muslims to be civilized when the Americans, the Israelis, the Russians kill thousands of Muslim civilians and dismiss it as collateral damage? The Holy Quran permits an eye for an eye. If the unbelievers kill our civilians, we have the right to do the same. Allah permits retaliation only against the guilty party, not against innocence. Surah 53, verse 38 says, No soul shall bear the burden of another. The Holy Quran also says, And kill them wherever you find them, and drive them out of the places where they drove you out. For persecution is worse than killing. You forgot the first part of that verse, brother. Fight in God's cause against those who fight you. But do not commit aggression. God does not love aggressors. There are many who are seeking God, but instead end up following the devil. What you said tonight troubled you. Yes. It's very different from what I've been told. There are many false teachers taking verses from the glorious Qur'an out of context, corrupting the teachings of the Holy Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tell me, brother, what is the greatest jihad? To fight the unbelievers in battle. No. No? The Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, that war against the unbelievers is the lesser jihad. The greatest jihad is to battle your own soul, to fight the evil within yourself. So, who is a true holy warrior then? The Prophet's cousin Ali was fighting an unbeliever in battle. And he gained the upper hand. Just as he was about to strike the death blow, the unbeliever spat at him. Ali threw down his sword, refused to kill him. Why? Ali said that when the man spat at him, he himself became angry. And he was no longer fighting for Allah, but to avenge his own pride. He knew that if he killed that unbeliever out of anger, rather than out of a desire for justice, he would be a murderer in the eyes of Allah on Judgment Day. That, my brother, is a true holy warrior. <laughs>